Hi friends, welcome back to SQL with Ravi Martha. This is SQL Server tutorial series for beginners. In this session, we will see what are data types in SQL. We will discuss about SQL Server data types. First thing, let's understand what is a data type. Data type, nothing but it says what kind of data it can hold. Let's see what are exact numeric data types. That is, we want to store the numbers, the integer data. So for this, we have begin, which is ranging from these two values, and which takes 8 bytes to store each of the values. The next one comes out to be the integer, which takes this, is this particular range, and it takes 4 bytes for each of the value. The next one is small integer, which takes the range from this particular range to this particular range and it takes two bytes each. The next one is tiny int which varies from 0 to 255 which takes one byte each. So why we have different types of uh, range because if you want to use for a particular purpose you can decide on which data type to be used. Suppose example so if you want to store department ID you can take it as tiny int because any organization most probably will have less than 255 departments so you can choose this particular data type and you can save the storage space the next one in the exact numeric data types is which is having the precision and the scale numbers for example decimal is one of the data type which is having the range and it takes the storage space based on the precision and the scale which you are, we are going to use and the next one is numeric data type which also takes the same range for example decimal 5 comma 2 that is 123.4 if you are storing it as a decimal 5 comma 2 it will store as 123.40 if you see i have casted 123.4 as decimal 5 comma 2 so it gives this particular value here there are overall five digits and two are for the scale the next one is the numeric 10 comma 5 if i take the example of this so it will store oh, there are overall 10 digits and 5 scale and 5 precision right the next one is the numeric data type that is currency and money so basically when we are dealing with money we can use money or the small money based on the values you store the range the next one is the float data type which is ranging from this particular value to this particular value and it takes 4 bytes each based on the if you are using 1 to 24 that is 7 digits precision the next one is real data type which takes 4 bytes each the next one is date time data types so these data types are used to store date or date time values the first one comes out to be the date time that is which stores the data from January 1st 1753 to December 31st 9999 so it takes 8 bytes and this is the timestamp precision and small date time which stores the data from this particular date to this particular date and this is the precision for this and it takes 4 bytes and the small date time will store the seconds as 00 and if you are using this one it will round off to the next value date if you are storing the value as date so it takes the values from this particular range to this one and it takes three bytes each and next one is the time which stores the data from this particular range to this one and it takes five bytes each the next one is character string data types that means in this we want to store the data in text format the first one is the character which is of fixed size so it takes one byte each so if you are defining char5 means it takes five bytes by default the next one is varchar which is variable data type so if you are using varchar5 and if you are storing only value 1 it takes only one byte then the varchar max which takes a variable size so which can be up to max 8000 characters and you know which is which takes which can store which can store up to 2 GB of data in a single column 
the next one is text character so this takes up to this many characters and the next one is the unicode characters so what are unicode characters this is used to store the data in other languages like japanese swedish german and chinese so if you are using other languages so we have to use this particular data type which is ncar nvarcar and nvarcar max and then ntext there are other data types available in sql server for example unique identifier which generates a unique identifier across the database so guid which says globally unique identifier next the xml data type which stores the xml data and the next one is the binary data type which is used to store the binary objects like the binary var binary and image so we don't need to by heart all these uh, data types and range but based on our requirement we have to decide on which data type to be used to use the database space efficiently and thank you for listening have a great day thank you